She is known for her roles in popular sitcoms such as Green Acres, Petticoat Junction, and The Beverly Hillbillies. She is recognized for taking over the role of Bobby Joe Bradley in Petticoat Junction and for her close friendship with co-star Meredith McRae. Her name is Laurie Saunders. In the world of television, one name stands out for her memorable roles and impact on the small screen, Laurie Saunders. Born on October 4, 1941, in Kansas City, Missouri, Saunders began her acting career with appearances in popular sitcoms of the time. Her breakthrough came when she landed the role of Bobby Joe Bradley in the hit show Green Acres, where she showcased her talent in three episodes. But it was her role as the brunette middle sister Bobby Joe Bradley in the rural sitcom Petticoat Junction that truly catapulted Saunders to fame. Taking over the role in 1965 from Pat Waddell, she quickly became a fan favorite in the show's 147 episodes. Her chemistry with co-star Meredith McRae, who joined the show in 1966, was undeniable, and the two became as close as the Bobsy twins, supporting each other as they both took on the challenge of replacing other actresses in the series. Saunders' talent and versatility didn't stop there. In the last season of The Beverly Hillbillies, she portrayed Elizabeth, Betty, Gordon, one of Mr. Drysdale's secretaries. Her presence added a touch of charm and humor to the show, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. And in 1973-74, Saunders took on the role of Betsy in the situation comedy Western Dusty's Trail, a show created by Sherwood Schwartz and starring Bob Denver. Her character, an ingenue inspired by Don Wells' iconic, Mary Ann, from Gilligan's Island, brought a fresh energy to the series. Saunders' impact and legacy in the television industry are undeniable. Her talent and ability to bring characters to life made her a beloved figure among fans. Even in recent years, she continued to make appearances, such as in a MeTV commercial promoting Petticoat Junction alongside her fellow cast members. Laurie Saunders will always be remembered for her contributions to the world of television and her ability to captivate audiences with her performances. In the 1960s, Laurie Saunders, known for her role in the popular TV show Petticoat Junction, ventured into the world of music. She released a single called, Lonely Christmas, which became a hit among her fans. The song captured the emotions of loneliness during the holiday season and resonated with many listeners. But that wasn't the only musical endeavor for Lori Saunders. Alongside her Petticoat Junction co-stars Linda K. Henning and Meredith McRae, she formed a singing group called The Girls from Petticoat Junction. They released several singles, including, If You Could Only Be Me, and, 30 Days Hath September. These songs showcased the group's harmonious vocals and catchy melodies, capturing the essence of the 1960s sound. The girls from Petticoat Junction's music gained popularity, and their songs were later compiled on an album titled The Girls from Petticoat Junction, 60s Sounds. This album became a nostalgic trip down memory lane for fans of the show and lovers of 60s music alike. The compilation featured not only their popular singles but also some hidden gems that showcased the group's talent and versatility. Laurie Saunders' foray into the music industry showcased her versatility as an entertainer. She was not only a talented actress but also a gifted singer. Her music, both as a solo artist and as part of the girls from Petticoat Junction, left a lasting impact on fans and added another dimension to her already impressive career. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.